Do violent video games create killers? Yesterday, August 26th, 2018, we heard news of another shooting. This time, it was at a video game tournament featuring the game Madden NFL. This event was being live streamed on Twitch and the feed was cut off after only a couple shots were heard. In the end, two people lost their lives and nine were injured by the gunman who took his own life as well. The question we all wanna ask as soon as something like this happens is who's to blame? Who can we look at and point at and say, you did this, you caused this, and we are going to eliminate whatever it is so that this doesn't happen any longer. Something that is blamed almost more than anything else these days is video games especially first-person shooter and other violent style video games. It might be a reasonable connection to make that while we spend hours and hours virtually shooting people in video games, it would take away some of our inhibitions to do so in real life. Video games are becoming more and more realistic and more and more violent, and they're targeting younger and younger audiences. So parents, leaders, politicians, religious leaders, we're all concerned and everyone's talking about it, and many are pointing their fingers at video games. It may be a mistake to look only at video games as the problem, because the fact is, there's not a lot of data to back up that opinion. There have been many studies trying to link violence to violent video games. The problem is, many of these studies were flawed simply because of the popularity of the topic. Many of the early studies were implemented simply because it was a popular thing to research, and many of them had an end goal in mind, which unfortunately fueled some of the actions of the researchers. Altering findings, ignoring unwanted findings, changing or ignoring your original hypothesis so that you can change your findings to support your earlier opinion. Things like this aren't good science, but they were often done in some of these early studies of video games tying to real world violence. More recent studies have struggled to find links between violent acts in the real world and video games. They have seen some increase in aggression in kids who play violent video games in some studies, but that aggression rarely turns to actual violent acts. Also, they're testing these kids immediately after they play the game, and then later when they're tested again, the aggression has slowed. The key to some of the most recent studies has been testing the effects of violent video games over a long period of time, something like two to six months. These studies have also found that there is not usually a link between violent video games and aggressive behavior, especially violent behavior. Many more tests need to be done, a lot more research needs to be done in order for us to see what's really happening here. But I think there is a problem with linking a single cause, whether it be video games or anything else, to these horrible acts that have been happening in our culture lately. Many of the experts and researchers who do these studies agree that there can't just be one cause. That's my opinion as well. There are many factors that cause someone to do something so horrible as walk into a game tournament and start shooting people. What's important is that we stay informed about what's going on in our culture, what's going on in society, and in social media. What's important is that we look at our kids as parents and we see what are they feeling, how are they reacting to the games that they're playing, to the time they're spending with friends, to the time they're spending on social media. If you see things that make you concerned, if you see concern with their behavior, if you see concern that they may have depression or extra aggression, you need to seek help. Find somebody to help you help your kid manage those issues. There are more things in play here than video games. And it's because of that that I can't just say video games are causing our kids to become killers. My prayers and my thoughts are with the families of those affected by this horrible, horrible incident in Florida. And my heart is to inform and educate you as a parent so that we can all contribute positively to this world and raise kids that do the same thing. Thank you for watching. I'm Michael Prince with BecauseFamily.org and FamilyTechBlog.com. Hi, I'd like to thank you for watching our videos. I just wanted to let you know that Because Family is a nonprofit organization 
all money donated is because family goes to help us make videos like this. Articles like the one this video is attached to do seminars and free workshops for families to teach them how to keep their kids safe online, to teach digital citizenship to kids, to write curriculum, and all kinds of wonderful stuff that we try to do to help families be internet smart and safe. So if you'd like to donate, you can go to becausefamily.org slash partnership and give to help us keep doing that. Thanks a lot.